Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. I'm Nathan Linville. And I'm Mason Mills, and here's what's going on at BHS. BHS TV wants you to share all of your homecoming pictures by posting them to Twitter or Instagram and using the hashtag BeebergHC19. We will post them on the TVs around the hallways and even choose some to be right here on the next few episodes of BHS TV. We want to see your dress day outfits, working on floats, cheering at sporting events, and even which fit period has the most spirit. Thanks to everyone who has participated so far. Don't forget to use the hashtag BeeberHC all week. Homecoming tickets will be on sale during lunch this week for $10. The dance will take place in the Fieldhouse Saturday, September 21st at 7 p.m. You must purchase a ticket ahead of time. They will not be sold at the door. DECA is selling alien headbands for $3 this week at all lunches for the Area 51 Spirit Day. Be sure to pick one up. Are you still thinking about what to do over Spring Break 2021? If so, there is time to sign up for the Costa Rica and Panama trip. The deadline for the $200 early enrollment discount has been extended to the end of September. If you have any questions about the trip or need more information, please either email Mr. Friedman or Ms. Muller or stop by A2310 or B2326. Seniors, College Go Week is next week. If you need help with applications, Naviance, or sending test scores, Mrs. Martin will be holding help days all week during lunch. Please see here if you have any questions. Do not wait until the last minutes. If your college has an November 1st deadline, make it your goal to submit all materials before fall break. This week's student handbook topic is academic integrity. Academic dishonesty occurs when students obtain or assist others in obtaining credit for academic work, which is not their own. Cheating is the use of unauthorized materials or receiving unauthorized assistance, acquiring unacknowledgeable materials, information, or study aids in any academic exercise. Plagiarism is the representation of the words or ideas of another one's own in the academic exercise. Appropriate acknowledgement is required on the materials from other sources which is in print form, electronic form, or other medium which is paraphrased or summarized. Students may not knowingly or negligently allow their academic work to be used by other students and presented as another's work. BHS is starting a new speech team this year and is looking for members who like performing or speaking in front of others. The call-out meeting will be next Thursday, September 26th after school in Mr. Padgett's room. B1-3 12. Just talk to Mr. Padgett if you have any questions. The Knitting and Crocheting Club would appreciate any donations of extra or unused yarn that anyone may have sitting around the home. It can be dropped off in the Senior Academy 210 or with Ms. Harris in the Team 2022 office. Do you have a teacher whose class you enjoy, who goes above and beyond to help you be successful, is able to explain to tough confit in a way you can understand or connect it to the real world? and who really cares about you as a person? If you said yes to any of these questions, be sure to stop by your team office and fill out a nomination form for the September Bulldog Teacher of the Month. These nomination forms will be collected September 20th in order to draw a name for the trophy delivery of the last week of the month. The golf season has seemed to be going well so far. Jordan Winter has an insight from the players. The golf team has been in action for a few weeks already. With that being said, here's the players' thoughts on the season so far. I've achieved that, like last week, I shot my personal best, which is a, a 37. So this year has really gotten like a lot better from last year. I was able to make HCC all conference again, and then I've been placing in most of the tournaments, and I've had a couple of career lows. So overall, it's been a pretty good season so far. A lot of goals I achieved this season are getting closer with my coach and my teammates, and I have had a lot of medalists this season. This year we've gone, gotten a lot closer and we've just been doing very well just having a close relationship than the previous years. Our team's really good at working together. There's only about nine of us this season, so we've all gotten really close and traveled together a lot, so it's been fun. The team works really good together. We're all like best friends and we get so close during golf season. It's just such a fun experience. We really want to go to regionals and go to state as a team, um, but personally we all just want to do our best and just perform as well as we can. I definitely want to go to regionals and then a big thing is moving on from regionals to state since our regionals is really competitive, so hopefully I'm able to do that and the rest of the team is as well. Some things I want to achieve before the season are over, at least make it to regionals and then at least place or place as a team. The players seem pretty confident on the season. Good luck, ladies. Jordan Winter, BHS-TV. 
Thanks, Jordan. Best of luck to the lady golfers on the rest of the season. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Alayla, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys. There have been a couple of teams in action this week, and it's about to get very busy. Let's start with the girls' soccer team who traveled to McCutcheon on Monday. The ladies earned their sixth win of the season, defeating the Mavericks 3-1. Grace Crawford put the dogs on the board in the first half with a goal, and Brianna Montgomery and Lydia Emmert had second-half goals to secure the win. The ladies will host Fishers tonight. Good luck. The boys' team traveled to Fishers last night, and despite controlling possession a majority of the time and outshooting the Tigers, could not find the net and fell 2-0. The boys will host Ben Davis on Thursday. The girls' golf team traveled to Nobles for the last night to take on the Millers. The ladies played a great match but fell to the Millers by one stroke, 176 to 177. Brooke Lingholm was the medalist in the match, shooting a 41. The dogs will be back on the links tomorrow when they host North Central at West Chase. Good luck. Good luck to the volleyball teams who head the Fishers tomorrow and the boys tennis team who will compete in the HCC tournament tomorrow. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Alayla. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you on Friday. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Academic. I don't know why I'm screwing up on this. I've heard this word so many times. Academic. Right? Academic. Academic experience. Information or study aids in the academic experience. I keep saying it in my head. Right Academic. <laughs> academic. 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 Information or study aids in the academic. Ac Can I just start from there?